<laughs> What's up guys? My name is Colin. I'm Paulina. You're watching Bug Out Overland and this is Cape Lookout. Okay, we're coming out of some pretty heavy five o'clock traffic right now. It is raining, cloudy, and a bit chilly, which means it is a perfect day to go to the beach. Paulina and I are currently on our way to North Carolina's Outer Banks. For those of you that don't know what the Outer Banks are, they're a chain of islands off the coast of North Carolina that stretch as far north as the North Carolina-Virginia border and as far south as Cape Lookout. And it's approximately 175 miles long and for the most part doesn't get any wider than a mile. Uh, we're currently on our way to the southernmost point which is Cape Lookout and uh, camping is not allowed, dispersed camping is not allowed in the Outer Banks only at designated state and private campgrounds. Cape Lookout however is the exception to that. Cape Lookout offers approximately 15 miles of um, area that you're allowed that dispersed camping is allowed and uh, so we're going to go hang out with some friends for the weekend and um, camp and hopefully we don't have a repeat of last year when we went to Cape Lookout and it was incredibly windy and rainy and we just picked the worst time to go um, but we still had an absolute blast and so we're going to make the best of whatever we have whatever whether we have this weekend whether it's sunny or crappy and rainy like it is right now we're gonna have a good time regardless so we got a six hour drive ahead of us so I'll see you guys there wish us luck driving later of what felt like absolutely forever and we finally made it to the uh, ferry service parking lot and um, it's about midnight right now me and Paulina are absolutely exhausted Paulina's already inside of the tent practically asleep um, so we're gonna hit the hay and wake up early tomorrow morning and get to the uh, After a rough and stormy night with little to no sleep, we woke up bright and early the next day, linked up with the others, went to this gas station a quarter mile up the road, and had an amazing breakfast. Let it savor. Mm. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> mm. After a short delay on ferry departure due to the choppy weather, it was time to load everything up. Just like that, we are off. Um, we're getting out of here a little bit before they told us we would be. It's 9.20 right now. We boarded about 15, 10, 15 minutes ago and we just left the dock. It's about a 45 minute drive out there. Um, so we're gonna take the time to go ahead and air down our tires. They recommend at most 20 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and take it down to 15 PSI. Um, the reason why you're airing down when you go out on these beaches is because for one it's going to be a whole lot more comfortable for you two you're increasing the surface area of your tires which allows you to gain more traction and three if you don't do it because of one and two at least do it for or out of respect of others and respect of the environment and reason being is because if your tires have too much air inside of them 
and you're driving through these sands or um, down the, their road and whatnot, it's going to cut into that sand a lot worse than it would if it was aired down and make the roads a whole lot rougher and it's just not very tread lightly so starting to rain again go figure that's our luck so i'm going to go ahead and take this time to air down our tires While riding on the ferry, it dawned on me that we were going to have a great time regardless of the weather, just because we had some really big personalities present with us this trip. What's up everybody? Back at it again. We got Kate Lookout with Colin, Gus, the bus, and Drew. Uncle Drew. Yay! So we crossed the sound on the ferry. Um, the weather was a little bit iffy again, but we made it here and got checked in on the island um, with island security. Got our pass put on the windshield and everything and we're off. We are going to check out the northern portion first as apparently that's fairly different than the southern portion which we explored last time. So we've got everybody in line and we're just going to sit back and enjoy the view for a little bit. All right, so here's something that's pretty cool. Here we've got, looks like a rusted out engine block and we've got some springs, wheel, looks like a couple more engine blocks with some wheels and tires right here. And fun little fact, <laughs> look, there's a steering wheel popped up with a steering column. Fun little fact is back in the day, um, they actually used old car parts that they would stack up along the line here to help build up the size of the dunes. And a lot of those old car parts still remain here today, rusted out from the salt and the environment exposure. Pretty cool though.
nasty weather is starting to set in. Um, the tide's starting to come closer. We stopped um, on the northern portion of Cape Lookout to take some photos, some roller shots, eat lunch, take a little bit of a nap because some of us didn't get any sleep last night. You too! <laughs> so we're heading south um, towards the lighthouse to explore a little more. Hopefully by the time we get there the weather will clear up and um, we'll be able to set up some camp and get settled for the night. Like a beach bum. This is Paulina reporting for duty. I'm a better driver than Colin. That's why he always wants me to drive. That's bull crap. You driving like you drunk. Babe, if you're gonna keep criticizing my driving, you're gonna drive. Men! Right now we're driving on the beach, but there's actually a dirt road that runs parallel with the entirety of the beach, the length of Cape Lookout. And then you've got these little places right here that are called ramps that they will open and close off. They're numbered so that way you know what mile marker you're at. Um, they've got pretty much a ramp for every mile. Occasionally they will close off part of the beach depending on um, different circumstances. So see right here, you'll see where it says ramp 37. That means you're at mile marker 37 on um, the beach but sometimes they'll close off sections of the beach where you'll come up and it's completely roped off and you'll have to hop on to the ramp which is just a connector that connects you directly to the dirt road that runs parallel with it there's a lot of protected species out here like sea turtles and different types of birds and plants um, and when there's enough of them nesting in one area they're going to close off a section of that beach and so just be mindful of that yeah see for whatever reason they've blocked off this section of beach so all you got to do is turn right here and hop on this uh, hop on this ramp and hit the dirt road. Clear as day, all vehicles detour. This is what the ramp looks like and this is what your connector road that runs parallel along with the beach looks like. Just make sure there's no other vehicles coming. You're good. And now we're on the road that connects, um, that runs along the entirety of Cape Lookout. There's the lighthouse. While checking out the lighthouse property, Gusty jokingly knocked on the keeper's house door, not expecting anyone to be home. To our surprise, however, someone actually answered, the current lighthouse keeper. He was a very kind gentleman who happily invited us inside and gave us a tour, told us about the history of the island and the lighthouse, and what made him decide to take on the position in the first place. Unfortunately, the lighthouse itself was closed for renovations at the time, but it was still pretty cool getting to see the inside of the keeper's house and take a peek at a little of the island's history. This one I actually picked up and moved down the beach. I greatly appreciate you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you're welcome Thanks so much. All right. What'd you think? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you dummy. That was fun. <laughs> Good news! The weather has finally started to clear up. Um, the sun's starting to come out a little bit, making making setting up camp a whole lot easier to do. We just got done with uh, checking out the lighthouse in the southern portion of Cape Lookout, which is where all the cool stuff is. Um, you can stand in the middle of the point and look in either direction and you're like a half a mile to three quarters of a mile away from the shore. It's crazy. Um, 
but instead of checking out the village which we're going to do in the morning we decided to come back further up north and set up camp and so this is what we got so far hopefully this will shelter us from the wind that we're probably going to experience later tonight nice and cozy in here ready to make dinner by the way, for those of you who do plan on coming out here, I completely forgot to mention, a permit is required to drive and camp on this beach. Um, I will put the link in the description of where um, and how to order that permit. If you order that permit in the off season, which I believe is between January and March or something along those lines, the permit's only $25. If you order the permit during season, it's like $50. Um, not only that, but obviously you have to have a ferry to come out here. Um, and for my Tacoma and two people, me and my wife, it cost $146. Um, just to put that into perspective for you. So depending on what vehicle you're driving and how many people are going with you, it can add up pretty quickly. Oh yeah. Gonna put it on anything or just eat them plain? You know, I have tortillas. Is it not good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's That looks amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I hope it tastes as good as it looks. I should have brought a heavier jacket. I should have brought a better house, how does burn? How does better sit? <laughs> exactly like that. That looks uncomfortable. All right, we got done with dinner. We hung around and sat and talked for a little bit. And we are all exhausted, only getting three or four hours of sleep last night. So we're going to call it an early night and be up early in the morning so that way we can catch sunrise. So peace out and see you guys in the morning. On our final day of the trip, we woke up quickly packed our things, some of us skipping breakfast, and headed back down to the southern point to check out the abandoned village. The southern part of the island certainly had a change of scenery with the forests surrounding the village. The village only had a handful of structures, but they were surprisingly well maintained given the harsh conditions they would sometimes endure. What the hell? Hey, you still got five in there. Never get a four. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just take one from the other and put it on that one? <laughs> right? That's a smart idea. Overall, Cape Lookout's been pretty fun. It's probably one of our favorite places that we've gone. Ooh, another dead bird. That's what I told you. Ooh, that's two dead birds. Overall, Cape Lookout's been pretty fun. It, uh, it's probably one of our favorite places to go, to be honest. We just haven't had the best luck picking the best timing to go. Um, last time it was crazy rains and crazy winds. Now it's crazy winds and pretty chilly. Um, for those of you who are planning on coming out here for the off-roading aspects of it, it isn't really difficult, especially if it's been raining. The sand is a little um, harder packed. But there is still a potential of getting stuck out here. So just make sure that you're coming prepared with the correct recovery gear and Treading lightly, airing down your tires, all of that good stuff. Um, but a stock vehicle with some good tires and four-wheel drive, which is definitely a necessity out here, um, is all you really need to do this. The camping is probably the hardest part. Driving these dunes and the beaches is not that bad. So we're heading back up north to uh, start up making lunch and probably say our goodbyes to the others.
we headed back up north where we sat in the cold, ate our lunch, and said our farewells to the others who had earlier scheduled departures than we did. Although the conditions weren't necessarily on our side, we still had a great time. There's just something different about camping on the beach as opposed to in the woods, and Cape Lookout is a prime example of that. Whether you're coming out here to fish, camp, or get away for a little to explore, Cape Lookout has a lot to offer and will certainly become a regular go-to destination for us. Just remember, there's not a lot of places like this out there, so be sure to treat it with the respect that it deserves. Alright guys, we just boarded the ferry and we are on our way back to the mainland right now. Um, that's going to conclude this weekend's adventure. We hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, share the video with your friends. It's going to encourage us to post more videos like this on our future adventures. But uh, with all that being said, um, have fun, be safe, tread lightly, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.